Hello, today we're going to do an unboxing, setup and initial impressions of Ecotech's brand new Radeon XR15 Blues. Hello and welcome back everyone to Amra Azul TV. Uh, really excited to uh, share with you some uh, new kit that I got for the tank. So this video we're going to be doing an unboxing, setup, initial impression and uh, par maps for the new XR15 Blues from uh, Radeon. These are the new uh, redesigned Gen 5 LED lights. So it's no secret that I'm a big fan of uh, Radeon lights. Uh, I've had a lot of, a lot of success with the growing and coloring uh, Acropora and other SPS and my Red Sea Reefer 250. Uh, I've been running uh, two uh, generation three XR15s and one generation four XR15 over my Red Sea Reefer 250. And so I was super excited when Ecotech announced the uh, Gen 5 lights earlier in the spring. So the Gen 5 have this uh, upgrade over the Gen 4s and Gen 3s in that uh, instead of packing all of the LEDs uh, in a, a puck in the center of the light, which uh, could cause, well, did cause some hotspot issues, uh, now uh, the LEDs are kind of spread over a much larger area, essentially most of the surface area of the light. And this is supposed to generate a, a more even blanket of light. And so uh, I'm, I'm expecting to see more consistent PAR readings across my tank. The Gen 5 lights come in two varieties. There is a pro version and a blue version. And the blue version is kind of uh, designed uh, to uh, run the SPS AB plus program, which is uh, I think about an 18K spectrum. So they have way more kind of blue LEDs. So I picked up uh, three XR15 blues from my tank, and I'm just gonna walk you through the process of setting them up and, and showing you uh, what they look like and, uh, and what to expect in terms of uh, power spread uh, if you switch uh, into these lights. So the new lights are being controlled uh, via uh, Bluetooth from an app on your phone called Mobius. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I, I downloaded the software and it, it worked really well. I had no issues. Everything was super intuitive. Uh, the interface was really easy to use. It just det it detected the, uh, the light. Uh, it uh, went through updating it. Uh, it took about five minutes to update, so I, I made myself a double espresso <laughs> to see me through this uh, long evening of uh, replacing all uh, three lights on my tank. And after all the firmware updates were done, it took you straight into uh, set up uh, the lighting program. Uh, and again, the, in, the interface was really intuitive. You first kind of uh, set a photo period, the time for sunset and sunrise. Uh, once you determine this, you're, uh, you're able to pick through some pre-programmed templates like the AP uh, Plus, or you could customize a template if you wish. And uh, once you uh, click on that, uh, effectively the lights were, uh, were ready to go. And uh, once you're done the setup, you're taken back to this main screen uh, where you have the option of kind of choosing different scenes for your tank. I'll, I'll go over what that means later. Uh, but from here, uh, you could, uh, if you wanted to live demo a specific spectrum, you could go ahead and click the buttons. If you click color cycle, the light will cycle through all uh, uh, the different uh, LEDs. Uh, so here, here is the color kind of, uh, sorry, the L, uh, XR15s uh, cycling through uh, the different colors. So once I was satisfied that it was gonna be easy to set up uh, the lights on the app and, and I was uh, confident that I'm gonna be able to kind of uh, hook up and control the lights uh, using Mobius, I then uh, went ahead and uh, started the process of re uh, taking down all of my old lights and replacing with the new Gen 5s. Uh, now one positive thing about the Gen 5 uh, is they're compatible with the uh, old uh, uh, Ecotec uh, hanging arms, mounting arms. Uh, so if you're, uh, I think this is only true for the XR15s. I think the XR30s uh, require a different uh, arm, uh, but the Gen 5 uh, XR15s are compatible with the old arms. So here they are, guys, uh, all installed. Uh, I, you know, one, one of my big, uh, my favorite things about the XR15s and, and the Radeons is just how sleek they look. Uh, you know, there is no uh, monstrous hood hanging over your tank. And uh, if you if you could believe it, the new XR15s are actually even a little bit more sleeker than the old ones because uh, they're they're just uh, uh, they're they're actually a little bit thinner in in profile, so that that makes for I think very uh, uh, beautiful aesthetics. Uh, again, here here is the old uh, Gen 4s and 3s versus the new Gen 5s. You can see they're quite a bit uh, thinner. 
And I really like the redesigned diffusers, which uh, magnetically couple directly on the body of the light. Uh, so uh, no more uh, having to put in, install a base plate for the diffuser as you did for the old uh, gen, uh, generation uh, uh, four and, and uh, three lights. Now, once all the three lights were on my tank, uh, I wanted to uh, put in the SPS AP Plus program and kind of modify it a little bit. Uh, I like uh, to have a little bit more white light at the end of the day. And again, this was super easy with, uh, with the app. Uh, you just kind of uh, pick the standard APS uh, uh, program, uh, sorry, SPS AP Plus program. And then you get this view where, and the fa uh, fast forward and, <laughs> and fast rewind button uh, essentially take you through the different time points in the day. And at any time point, you could uh, change the color spectrum by uh, uh, sliding, uh, uh, sliding the colors up and down or actually entering specific values for uh, the percentages. Uh, you're able to add points and uh, uh, you're able to kind of save presets. So if you, if you really like a preset, uh, a specific color spectrum, you could press that hard button. And then you could set an overall schedule intensity, again, very easily uh, using the app. Uh, the scenes here are, are really cool. So think of scenes as like a, a custom mode for your light, and you could add a new one. So I'm, I'm gonna demo creating a new scene where, uh, uh, where I'm gonna change into uh, a more white spectrum for uh, shooting my tank with uh, my uh, iPhone. And so I'm, uh, I'm just giving it a random name here. You're able to uh, pick the duration of your scene. So, uh, you know, when I click a button uh, for photography, I wanted to, uh, uh, I wanted to set the lights to the specific spectrum for 60 minutes. And here uh, you dial in the custom spectrum that you want. So uh, when I'm shooting videos, you know, obviously it's really hard to, uh, without a filter, uh, to take pictures of your tank when it's uh, uh, all blue. So whenever I'm doing YouTube videos, I like to have uh, a more white spectrum. So uh, these are numbers that I kind of just uh, really quickly figured out once I, I, uh, I had the, the radions. Uh, but I found that uh, it's about 100% white, red, and green, and everything else is about 30%. And that, to me, I think uh, led to a, a, a light that was uh, where the iPhone camera could uh, white balance really easily. So again, you just uh, name this custom scene, and once it's saved, uh, you go back to your main menu, and let's say you know it's time to shoot a video, I click on my YouTube button, and here is what the spectrum looks like. Uh, very easy for my iPhone to kind of pick up and photograph. So I was really happy that I could, uh, I have this functionality in, in Mobius. Uh, there's also a handy acclimation mode that uh, I set that up so that way, uh, you know, I ease my tank onto the new lights. Uh, I, I went for, I think, a 14 day acclimation. Uh, where I go from 50% intensity to 60% intensity. You're also able to, uh, you know, turn on a lunar uh, lunar mode uh, for, uh, you know, moonlights on the tank at night. All right, uh, once all of that was done, uh, the next thing that I wanted to do is uh, obviously, uh, you know, when, whenever you're, when you're introducing new lights, you, you want to try to match the par as, as well as you can with the old lights. So uh, before uh, I replaced the lights, I took my Sennheim uh, par meter and I went into every single one of my corals, my frags, and I measured the par. Uh, so the old setup, just uh, uh, just for your uh, uh, reference, I had two Gen 3s and one Gen 4, uh, all running at 80% intensity, and the par was measured at the kind of the plateau of the SPS AP Plus program when the lights are at around 8, 18K spectrum. All right, and once I switched back, uh, what, sorry, once I switched the lights into uh, 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 the Gen 5s, I had to play around a little bit with the app and, and just kind of make sure that uh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm picking an intensity that is similar, uh, giving me similar par. And just from, from trial, and, um, trial and error, I figured that the 60% intensity, 60 intensity on the Gen 5s gave me very similar par numbers. So if you look on the bottom here, I have the average par with my old setup was about 250. Uh, again, this was uh, two Gen 3s and one Gen 4 at 80%. Uh, and when I run the Gen 5s at 60%, I'm getting very similar, very close to this uh, 250 number. Uh, so uh, uh, once I decided that, I wanted to look at the spread of, uh, of the par across my tank. So uh, I switched into the Gen 5s, and then I, again, I measured par over every single one of uh, my frags. And so uh, you see my Excel file here, all of my uh, corals uh, before the light change and after the light change. And one thing that I was really pleasantly surprised about is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation number, standard deviation is a measure of how 
uh, how far the uh, the points are to each other and so the larger the standard deviation the more spread of par values and you could see very clearly that the gen 5s have a much smaller standard deviation it's actually about a 25 percent less standard deviation that means that uh, i i am getting uh, much more even light spread across my tank uh, I'm, I'm not getting a lot of fluctuations another way uh, to uh, to kind of visualize this if, if you kind of imagine as like the average uh, light in my tank is around 250 then uh, whenever I found frags that were above that by 50 or below that by 50 I colored them as red or, or blue so you could think of red as frags that are getting way more light than average uh, hot spots and blue as, uh, as cold spots so frags that are getting way less light than average and in my old setup, I actually had six frags that were getting 300 when or above when uh, when the average was 250, and I was also getting four cold spots, so four frags that were getting around 200 when the average was 250. So you could say that you know there was a lot of extremes. There were some you know, many many high values, many many low values. Uh, but when I switched to the Gen 5, uh, I now went into only. Uh, two uh, hot spots and uh, and three cold spots so again uh, it, it, it's very clear that the redesigned radions are giving us much more even light uh, and 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 much uh, less variance in par and and um, a lot of uh, a lot less cold spots and a lot less uh, hot spots so I'm really excited to see how my corals are gonna respond. Uh, one thing that I'm really happy about uh, in, in that it seems like I have a lot of opportunities for placement now uh, because the, the light is so evenly spread across my tank. Uh, and you know, that includes things that are on the sand bed, right? Like so that Pac-Man on the sand bed is getting 250 par, which I think is like really amazing. Uh, my old system, again, you know, there, there was hot spots and, and there was cold spots and I had to kind of pick and choose uh, <laughs> which frags are gonna receive the, the best light. Uh, but with this new setup, it, you know, it, it's like the whole tank is receiving a, a kind of ideal par. Uh, so I will take lots of pictures and I'll document any changes to uh, the uh, health and growth patterns of my corals as I, as I typically do. And then the plan is to, uh, again, the mission of uh, my, uh, uh, my rebuild here is to try to get the best coloration out of my SPS. And uh, after I, the acclimation uh, period is done with the radions, I'm gonna slowly push the envelope and just see how high can I raise the levels and, and document the effect, uh, the influence of this high PAR, uh, high nutrition, and again, amino acid dosing plus uh, potassium nitrate dosing. And you know, hopefully this will help me uh, achieve the dream of, uh, of getting a really, really uh, colorful and, and diverse uh, SPS dominant system. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos, and if you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button. It, it really does help the channel. All right, have a good one, and see you later.